What's up everybody, it's your boy Matt here coming at you from the modern metropolis of the Far East, it's Shanghai. Today we've got a special guest we're going to be collaborating with, Charlie. He's new to the travel vlogging world, but he's been living in Shanghai, fake China, for a while. Uh, I just want to I just thank you for giving me the opportunity. Let's go guys! He's going to give us a little bit of local insight and film some behind the scenes footage. And in exchange we're going to show him the ropes on how to... Look at this queue. People on people on people. Jing and Temple. Sky jump. Sky jump. Underpass. That is one spooky underpass. I know you. You're amazing. <laughs> he knows me. I'm amazing. Yes. See? You gotta learn to travel He's like. Guy. Say it with He's me. Fucking guy. Travel like Matt. Travel, travel like man. man. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Some. Vlog BTS. All right, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got it, got it. All right, back up, 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 some people will tell you that you can only bow in Japan, but here in Shanghai you can so long bow. I am so excited to show you guys this place. It's truly an undiscovered gem known only to the locals and me. That was delicious. Truly an undiscovered gem. Matt fact, before this place was slinging so long bow, it was a Tang Dynasty massage parlor. That's just patently false. All right, so let's get to it in a three, two, one, snap. <laughs> That's gonna look great when I edit it. Also, don't contradict me on Matt facts, all right, but well, I think I might be the first ever foreigner to ever, ever come in a place like this. I might just be, I might just be. Look at these receipts. Just gotta hang out and basically wait. That's, that's what you gotta do for excellent stuff like these. Oh, sorry, I'm just getting everybody's way now. Very exciting stuff. Picked up some true pie. I'm gonna take this upstairs and Get inside it while we wait for our Shaolong. Guys, wow, these are the best Shaolong bao ever. Matter of fact, matter of fact, so in order to get these off menu, you've got to convince the chefs that you are one of the boys. That's ridiculous. Okay, this one is for you, Birdain. Mm. Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> oh, classic ratatouille flashback right now. The silky outer walls give way to a succulent, meaty soup, essentially coating the taste buds. Oh my God, like a siren of a day's journey. They're all right, but I don't think you have to exaggerate so much. Do you think that I got 10,000 subscribers by describing things as being all right? You gotta get people pumped, all right? It's all about action and intrigue and hypersensualization and sweet transitions. That's how you get subscribers. Okay, well, I guess we can try it out, but you're not gonna finish the show on top. No, man, I fucking hate show on top. What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Charlie and we're in a local community. It's actually one of the few remaining areas that has Shurkumen style lane houses. It's been disappearing from modern Shanghai. Just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Chinese Medicine. When you're not feeling good, use Chinese Medicine. Um, long tongs are actually kind of uh, Shanghai's answer to Beijing's hutong system. Uh, Sorry, uh, one more. Uh, let's see here. Stinky tofu. Doesn't taste as bad as it smells. Uh, there are a series of interconnected, two to three story Shurkumen buildings. Uh, a Sorry, lot of got multiple sponsors this week. Baijiu, you can drink it. So, what did you think? You call that a vlog, mate? You were just being yourself. Isn't that kind of the point? Aren't you supposed to show aspects of your personality and show off the world? Where were the wacky angles? Where were the butts? Huh? Where was the, where was the three, two, one, cover the lens, ah, three, two, one, cover the lens, show the camera, where's all that? But you're not showing the reality though. Travel isn't always some perfect magical experience. The way you present the world feels fake. Oh yeah? Three, two, one. 
seems pretty magical to me, but... Was it magical when you tried to pay for the Shaolong Bao last night using your influence? You cut deep. Truthfully, yeah, okay. Okay, maybe I exaggerate my travels a little bit for entertainment. But what you see in the camera, that's still me. These are, these are defining moments. And I wouldn't trade any of them for anything. Some people like to spend money on new cars, new phones, heck, even a mortgage. But not me. No, not me. I like to spend my money on traveling and exploring this world. But this transient lifestyle can get a little bit lonely. I guess I'm just trying to relive that sense of adventure I used to have from being a kid and playing video games. I remember my dad used to sit and watch me traveling from RPG town to Why'd you stop? That was great. SD cards out, mate. Oh. Okay, and then three, two, one. Yeah, so I mean, truthfully, yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm just trying to relive, relive those lost moments, but who's to say, really? I think the point of this is, is that being a vlogger is not easy. And I can't afford to do all these things a lot of the time, but I do it. And I do it for you guys. So can you do me a favor? Like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Don't forget we're everywhere. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We've got it all. Thanks again for watching another fantastic episode of Travel Like Matt. I am awesome.